Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Hi guys, it's me Jess Marie. Welcome or welcome back to one of my videos. Welcome to a work week in my life. This is my third week back in the office after working from home for two years. So hopefully this week will be much better than the last two. If you saw those vlogs, I was just an emotional wreck all week. But this week, I'm really hoping it's gonna be different. Hopefully I don't cry the majority of the week. I did make some coffee this morning. I haven't been making coffee till lunch if I really wanted, but this Monday, I am struggling so very tired I was kind of rushing around this morning but I'm here at the office now I'm actually not as early as I normally am I'm usually one of the first people in the parking lot which I still am but I can actually go into the office right now so yeah very quick intro but if you aren't already be sure you subscribe down below and I hope you guys enjoy this vlog here's our break room got lots of microwaves here's our water and coffee station every morning the first thing I do is put my lunchbox in the fridge always in this spot it is now time for my morning break so i'm walking this trail around my office in this pond which is really nice even though i had a cup of coffee this morning i am still struggling but i did book a cycle bar class tonight so when i go home for lunch i think i will prepare some pre-workout to take i don't like taking pre-workout on the days that i also drink coffee because i feel like that is a lot of caffeine, but I really feel like I'm gonna need it today. So and that was a nice half mile, 10 minute walk. I'm home for lunch now. I didn't walk the dogs today because we just played in the backyard for a little and they decided to lay down. So I just sat out there with them for a bit, threw the ball to Miley a couple times and I got my outfit together for spin because like I said, I'm gonna take a class at Cycle Bar and I didn't really plan on doing it. So I don't have an outfit ready. So I'll show you guys what I decided to go with. I feel like this is the same outfit I do every time I spin. Just some black leggings. These are colorful koala off of Amazon. They are my favorite leggings ever. And then this little tank top that has a built-in sports bra. I really like the back. I think it's really pretty. It's got a little, okay, you can't really see, but it's got a little cross in the back. It's really cute. And then my jacket to wear in because it's always really cold in there is just my cycle bar jacket. I also got a call from Orange Theory and they invited me to take a class with them tomorrow. So that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow. I'm also gonna do dinner with my dad and sister tonight, I think. I kind of forgot we had talked about doing dinner tonight and I told him because of spin, I'm gonna be a tiny bit late, but I think I'm still gonna do it with them. And yeah, now it is time for me to head back to the office. Just got to cycle bar. I was listening to the playlist. like. I always do. My class doesn't start for another hour, but I always get here so early, especially now coming straight from my office because my office is like 10 minutes away. So it makes no sense for me to go all the way home and then come back. So just come here, sit. Last week I went live on TikTok for the first time, so I might do that again. But I'll just hang out here, eat my protein bar, fill up my water bottle, and gonna pop on my jacket because my AC in my car is really cold, which I'm really grateful for because my old car was not like that so I am doing dinner with my dad and my sister tonight I totally forgot we had planned it for tonight I wouldn't have scheduled my cycle class for tonight if I remembered but it'll totally be fine I'll just have to show up to dinner a little bit later and I won't get to go to Trader Joe's but that just means I will have to book another cycle class sometime this week and or just go to Trader Joe's but I always like going to Trader Joe's after cycle bar it's just like it's a nice little routine even if i'm falling down i will keep on searching for my highs you can say i lost my mind i will keep on holding my head high it's tuesday and it's in the high 40s so it's the perfect weather to just cozy up in bed so i did not want to get out of bed this morning of course i felt better when i finally did and i walked the dogs but i am so tired today for some reason so i got another coffee almond milk vanilla almond milk and stevia that's been my go-to when i don't have that oat creamer and it's really really good actually 
Other than being tired, I'm in a pretty decent mood, which is good. I'm just ready to take on the day. Excited to take another Orange Theory class tonight. After Orange Theory, I will probably have to go to the grocery store because we don't have anything for dinner, so. Just got home from work, home early today because I got to leave early since I didn't take an hour for lunch to come home and let the dogs out and they seem to be fine. So I'll definitely try to leave work early on the days I don't go to Cycle Bar because I really like leaving early, so. When I got home, I saw I had a package and I forgot Justin ordered me a thing for my car to protect it from carrying the dogs. It just goes in the back. So I'm gonna open it and see if it fits. He got it off of Amazon. The brand is Peticon. That's what that says. It's just a little thing to go in the back trunk area instructions seem pretty easy so let's go see if we can put this in my car and here's the trunk space now and i'm pretty sure it's supposed to cover the sides the bottom obviously and the back seats right there Alrighty. i'm pretty sure it's just one big piece which makes it really simple Velcro's on the sides to make a wall. Okay, this is actually perfect because yes, it's a little big, but by tucking it and folding it in right here, it's perfect. They have these Velcro things also here, so I could take the sticky off, put it on here if I want, and then it can be Velcroed up like that. And same for over here, obviously, it can be Velcroed up like that, and then it would actually be a perfect Thing. I'm not gonna put the sticky thing on it now just because I don't want the sticky stuff to ruin the car I don't think it will but I'm just like scared but it's really nice there's a pocket there now let's see how the dogs like it come on good boy good girl what you think what oh Jack likes it you definitely don't have as much room in this car as my other one but the seats do fold down so they'll have more room if we actually go for a trip what do you think? You like mom's car? This is mom's new car. They're so dirty. They were just rolling around the grass. I just got home from my second Orange Theory class. I definitely meant to vlog before I went, but Justin got home early and I was talking to him, then had to run out the door and class went really good. I'm proud of myself for catching on, but also it started off kind of rocky only because the heart rate monitor that they gave me wasn't connecting. So at the beginning of class, I was trying to figure it out and the coach had to give me a new one, but the one she gave me wasn't even put together. So I had to I don't know it was just a lot once I got that figured out and got into the zone of what I was doing everything was good started off on the rowers at first I was just confused on different blocks we were doing I don't think I I just don't think I could understand what she was saying and also I'm very new to it so it was hard to catch on I kept looking to my neighbors trying to kind of match up with them and see their intensity and after a while I was able to get it so then we moved to the floor and I crushed the floor work the only thing that I didn't do good at was reading I read 24 counts of something instead of 12 and so as I was doing it which I think my neighbor was doing 24 also because we both looked at each other and laughed after she said something after that everything was so good last thing was a treadmill and I've been struggling with running but I'm proud of myself for pushing myself the one thing I will say about orange theory is being able to see your heart rate is great but I start really freaking myself out only because I'll be in the red and everyone else is in the orange. And so I'll be like, I need to slow myself down, but everyone else is running. So I'm trying to run too, but my heart rate is so high and it's only because I'm not a runner. So my body's like, what the heck are you doing? So I know the more I do it, I'll be able to get my heart rate down. It's just right now it's kind of overwhelming because I'm the only red person up there and it's like kind of embarrassing, even though I know people don't care. But for me, it's like, uh, I, I think my heart rate gets even higher because I'm starting to freak out that my heart rate's so high. So once I get that under control, all will be good. The head coach is who has been messaging me and I saw her before my class started. I didn't get to take this class with her, but she was leaving as I got there and she told me while I'm trying to be a coach, all my classes are free right now. So I'm so, so grateful. I even asked her, I'm like, do I need to buy packages to be able to come and take more classes? And she said, no, all my classes are free and I can take however many I want. So I'm very grateful. I think I'm gonna take a class with her tomorrow. I will say I was starting to feel a little discouraged, not me getting emotional. Since I've never taken 
taken Orange Theory classes, it's like I'm second guessing my abilities to be able to coach even though I want this so bad. I don't know, even the coach after class was saying, oh, you just don't know the lingo right now. Like, you'll get it, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, I just, I felt kind of stupid for wanting to be a coach when I don't know everything. And I'm almost sitting here thinking like, do I even deserve to be a coach? But I do know I want it really bad because even though it's only my second class, I really do love it. And I could see myself being there. So I'm just trying to get out of my head. All will be well. Yeah, gonna go in shower figure out what i'm gonna eat for dinner and have a relaxing rest of the night for dinner i'm making the chicken tacos i made this weekend i definitely put a lot in the tortillas so let's see if i can roll them up but there we have it good girl good girl good girl good boy good boy Happy Wednesday vlog. It is a very chilly morning. It was in the low 30s today. So that is why I was so bundled up for my walk this morning. And I'm a little bit later to work today, only by two minutes because there was frost on my windshield, which I kind of knew there was gonna be, but I didn't start my car beforehand to like make it go away so just a little bit later but i'm actually not too late because i'm still the second person in the parking lot but i just try to get here at 7 so i can leave at 3 30 and that's what i'm gonna do today i'm actually in a really good mood because i love being bundled up even though i was sort of stressed because i was running a little bit late i'm still good closing the door with my hip and today's gonna be a good day. Just got to Orange Theory, about to take my third class. I am really excited to take this class because the head coach who has been messaging me is actually taking the class with me, so I think it's gonna be really fun. I also am going to show her the little lobby introduction that I came up with. She sent me the template over the weekend and over the past few days, I've just been looking at it. And today I came up with sort of my own that I wanna run by her and see if that's the right track, which I'm pretty sure it is. I'm feeling really good about it. So hopefully she says it's good, just a a protein bar I ate the misfits cookie butter protein bar it's my favorite and I'm a little early today I was kind of rushing because for some reason I just thought I was gonna be later than I actually am so just gonna sit in my car for a little bit and then I'll go in and probably chat with some people talk to members you know just start meeting people and yeah have a really good class <laughs> Justin is in the shower right now listening to Akon and I'm pretty sure you'll be able to hear him singing But I just got back from Orange Theory and I took a shower. It's now 7 o'clock Just packed my lunch for work. Just packed the usual yogurt, protein bar, three cheeses and meal prep chicken rice and broccoli He's like distracting me <laughs> Tonight's Orange Theory class went so good. I ended up talking to the coach and telling her my concerns from yesterday. Just feeling like I don't really deserve to be a coach since I've never taken classes at Orange Theory before. But she said obviously it would help if I had experience. But even though I don't, I can still learn it. And she really likes my personality. She even said personality is something you can't teach. And she really likes how I interact with members. So I'm feeling really, really good. Just got to work. I actually started my car early this morning so it can warm up. Yesterday, I felt kind of rushed because I didn't start my car beforehand and because of the ice, it I had to wait on that to melt before I could drive. But today, I started my car about 10 minutes before I was leaving while I was in my kitchen just getting my stuff together. And when I got in, it was nice and warm, nice and clear on the windshield. Still a couple minutes early, which is good. Since I've been leaving, it, tiny bit later than I have been the last two weeks. I keep getting nervous that I'm gonna be too late to work, but then I'm literally the second person in the parking lot again. So it's totally fine. I really like my outfit today. I'm wearing a little vest today because it's very cold. It's that time of the year in South Carolina where the mornings and nights are freezing, 30s below, and then during the day it's in the high 70s. Maybe not high 70s, just in the 70s in general. So it's pretty toasty in the afternoon, at least to me. Yesterday I wore a jacket, but I was still kind of cold during the day so i'm just wearing a vest and the last time i wore this combo with this shirt and this vest i was in the mountains so i'm kind of sad i'm not actually in the mountains right now and i just associate this outfit with the mountains so today's gonna be a good day really glad it's thursday really really glad tomorrow's friday this is my current favorite song i heard it in a spin class and i've been obsessed ever since i just got to orange theory i was listening to it to kind of 
pump me up and I also got some pre-workout because this afternoon I am struggling to keep my eyes open. I am just so tired for some reason. After lunch, I just hit a wall and I don't know what it was. I even went on my afternoon walk thinking that was going to wake me up and it didn't. Luckily, the afternoon went by really fast. So sitting in my car for about five more minutes and then I'll go in 10 minutes before class starts, chat with some people. I pulled out the zebra print jacket today, just feeling bold, feeling more confident than I have been the last few days only because I'm not as nervous as I was, I guess. And yeah, I think it's going to be a good class. I haven't been reading the Reddit because I kind of like the element of surprise where I go into the workout and I don't really know what to expect. Obviously, I know treadmill, rower, floor, but I don't know the sequence of things. When I first came to Orange Theory, I knew that that's how they did things and I didn't think I was going to like it at all, but I actually really do. So yeah, just going to hang out here for a bit, drink some, drink the rest of my pre-workout and hopefully have a really good workout. And I in fact had a really, really good workout. Just went to the public, so I'll do a grocery haul. But class was so good. I just feel so welcome there and the energy is just really good and I just really enjoy the class. The class is so fun. It goes by so fast. Like I can't believe it's an hour long. It just goes by so fast. Love the treadmill, which is crazy because I've been struggling with running and I've always hated running. But the way every class has been is you run in intervals, so you're not going a very, very long distance, pushing as hard as you can to where it is miserable. There's plenty of times where you're just walking to catch your breath. That's why I really do like the heart rate because you can literally see your heart rate going down and you can take deeper breaths to make it go down. And I just, I really, really enjoy it. We were gonna have my mic audition tomorrow, but the head coach said, we should just do it Saturday, that way we don't feel rushed and she can really take the time to practice with me and I'm just feeling really good, really excited. Went to the grocery store, not for a big grocery run, just for a bunch of random things I needed. So I got another big kombucha because I'm almost out. Toothpaste, we needed toothpaste. I don't even know what kind of toothpaste we use now. We got a really big thing from Costco and it ran out recently, so we did this. Got this kombucha to try, the lemon berry. Got a spray bottle because I've been doing the slick back bun situation and I don't have a spray bottle to spray my hair. And then coffee. I'm really into trying different coffees. Like for example, I am finishing this one right now. This is buy one get one free at Publix. So that's why I got this to try and I really, really like it. But today I saw that this brand was buy one get one free and I saw they had French vanilla. So that's what I got to try. And then for dinner, just got a salad kit and not even a salad kit, just like parts of romaine and some feta cheese because I think I'm going to do a turkey burger bowl or I'm going to try to make some sort of bowl with just lettuce, turkey burger, probably the leftover onion, pepper, tomato thing I have and then feta cheese. I'm just really craving that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do for dinner. Justin's at the gym right now, so I'm really proud of him. And yeah, my grandma called me while I was pulling into the grocery store, so I need to call her back. I also really wanna wash my car because my car is a mess. Like, it's so dirty in the back. I did talk about going through an actual car wash, but my license plate is still the temporary license plate from the dealership. And even though when I washed my car in the driveway, it didn't ruin it at all, I just, I kinda feel like going through an actual car wash might ruin it. So not gonna go through a car wash till I get my actual license plate and I'm gonna put all this away, FaceTime my grandma, and make a turkey bowl. Turkey burger bowl. So happy it's Friday. I was listening to the new Taylor Swift album on the way here and I really, really like it. I haven't made it all the way through, but I 
do feel like it's my favorite album of hers. It's so good. And yeah, I'm in a really good mood. Made some coffee. I used my new coffee, the French vanilla coffee I got yesterday. Even though my coffee that I was using still isn't empty, I just, you know, it's Friday. So why not start the day by trying some new coffee? And I'm so glad I did because it is delicious. Really excited for this weekend. It seems like we have a pretty packed schedule this weekend. So Stay tuned for my weekend in my life. I think it'll be fun. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here and then start my weekend in my life after work. So if you aren't already, be sure to subscribe down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and thank you so much for watching. Bye.